I had a magic wand, I would want all stigma associated with mental health to go away. When I went to medical school, the attitude was sort of a joke. Oh, you're thinking about being a psychiatrist, huh? <laughs> we didn't gain respect until recent years. In 1991 is when I was offered the leadership, the medical directorship of the hospital. And I said to them, I will do it until you find someone. And so here I am. Yeah, I don't think I'll retire because I'm just getting the hang of it. I'm passionate about what I've decided to do for my lifetime because it gives me a chance to give to other people. In psychiatry, you just don't leave it at the office. It, you dream about it, you think about it, they're always on your mind. The excitement of this hospital is bringing to this hospital talented people. Along the way, I've helped in recruiting new people for the institution making an addition to the Cradwell School so that we could bring younger children into it. Uh, helped recently work on the President's house called the Lighthouse. And since we completed that building, the number of people coming in to use it have almost doubled. You know, I love what I do and I do what I love, trying to find the right medication, the right therapy technique that enables the patient and the patient's family to get better. That's exciting stuff. I always feel I'm so privileged when a patient allows me into their life with a chance to be of help to them. We have a private motto, you talk and we listen. And that isn't often possible in the other specialties because people are hustled through those sessions so quickly. The lifetime achievement is exceedingly important. I have accepted that for all of the staff. That's what I'm really proud of and feel honored to be kept here, so to speak. One of these days I'll get well enough and they'll discharge me.